a few years ago I was running at night time and I noticed how a lot of cars did not see me running and this seemed to be quite dangerous at times because I've, I've, I've almost been hit by a car uh, running so I thought I really wanted to solve this solution so I started looking online to you know find ways to for cars to see me at night time and I ended up coming off this new kind of uh, this new kind of technology called electroluminescent wire so basically I, uh, I applied to some shoes because no one else was doing it and uh, the results were incredible. I wore it in my local seat of Ann Arbor, Michigan and people were stopping me left and right asking how did I do that? How does it work? So I knew I had something very special indeed. When I, when I initially launched there was a lot of uh, problems with the shoes, you know. The lights were breaking, it was very impractical. And uh, the original battery pack that powers the shoes was actually uh, very big and bulky which was going to be a real problem with the uh, average consumer as you can see. It's pretty thick and the only place it could fit was your sock. So I uh, pleaded to my parents to send me to China for a couple of weeks alone because I needed to uh, manufacture a new battery pack. So I came across a new manufacturer online in China and from this we were able to make a 500 milliamp rechargeable uh, electronic battery which is a fraction of the size of the original. Plus it can be implemented inside the sole of the shoe or the tongue of the shoe. So it was really uh, the next level for laser footwear after I went to China. Well, it was really scary to send a 16 year old on his own and um in a way, we were so much, um, you know, when we, when I saw his face and he was so passionate about it, he had tears in, in his eyes and so if the, he said that, okay, if we don't send him now, maybe it won't, it won't do good for him. We before. went through a really hard time what? thinking about it every day, every night, uh, sometimes not having sleep, you know, yeah, what are we doing, are we doing for right thing or not. So, <clears throat> but I think at the end it turned out that, um, it was a really um, right decision to send him. I was 16 and uh, my parents, they were really confused why I wanted to do this originally, initially, but after I pleaded to them, I showed them my, my passion, my drive to do something incredible. Uh, they allowed me to, so I stayed in the manufacturing facility for a couple weeks with people who don't speak any English, so I was able to you know, grasp the Chinese language slowly and uh, we were able to do something incredible, I think.